Nine months after dumping the All Progressive Congress APC and adopting the People's Democratic Party PDP as his new abode, on whose platform he won re-election, Governor Gordon Obaseki and his new landlord are daggers drawn over the control of the soul of the party. The governor who joined the PDP with thousands of supporters is calling for the dissolution of the ESCOs from the war to the state level and also calling for a fresh election, a move that didn't resonate well with Anthony Aziegbemi, the Edo State PDP chairman and his executives. The lead was blown open when the State Working Committee wrote a letter to Prince Uche Sekundus, the national chairman of the party, in which it accused Obaseki of plotting to dissolve the validly elected ward local government and state executives. The National Working Committee in May 10, letter signed by the chairman Dr. Tony Azegbemi and secretary Hilary Otsu, also called for the resignation of Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu as part of the power sharing arrangement. In the letter, the SWC said the genesis of the looming crisis was the acquiescence of the National Working Committee members who negotiated Obaseki's movement to PDP and agreed on the integration of the new members and the sharing of appointments after the election. They also said the proposed dissolution and harmonization being canvassed by Obaseki were designed to hold Edo people and PDP to ransom. The SWC stated at an emergency meeting, the state chairman Dr. Aziek Bemi briefed the SWC and local government party chairman on Obaseki's May 8, 2021 meeting at the government house Benin with the agenda to propose the dissolution of Edo State Executive Committees at all levels. After more than five hours of deliberations, the following resolution were adopted. The expanded state working committee and local government chairman of the Edo State PDP reject in its entirety the proposal to dissolve the legitimately elected executive committee members of the PDP at the ward and local government and state levels. We also condemn totally convening of the meeting aimed at ambushing Edo State Chairman of PDP, who is constitutionally empowered to call such a meeting, with only three old PDP members, as against 10 members from the Obaseki faction that defected from the APC to PDP. We hereby reiterate to the National Executive Committee neck of our party that the issue of dissolution of Executive Committee in Edo State is sub -judice and it will be an act of contempt of court to revisit it by the party. Credible sources, however, said the crisis is centered on moves by Obaseki to ensure his own men who followed him from APC to PDP take charge of the party's affairs. According to the sources, Obaseki, who is not comfortable with the present PDP leadership in the state, is desirous of having Ansel Mojezwa, former APC chairman of Edo State, as the new PDP chairman in the state. Ujezwa, a fiercely loyal supporter of Obaseki, defected from the APC to PDP in December 2020 with over 150,000 members. He cited loss of confidence in APC national leadership and alleged disobedience to the party's constitution as his reason for leaving. Speaking with our correspondent yesterday, one of the leaders who spoke on condition of anonymity said, Obaseki, who is now the leader of PDP in Edo State, by virtue of his positions, want his men to be in charge of the party affairs. Yes, the governor wrote to the PDP national leadership asking for a dissolution of the current executive and a fresh election to be conducted. The reason he gave was that there was too many factions in the party. But the truth is that the current PDP leadership led by Aziek Bibi knows that if a fresh election is to be conducted today, they stand no chance of returning because whomever is the candidate of the governor will win. From fillers who are getting, Governor Baseki wants Ansela Mujezwa, who stood by him through thick and thin in APC and has even joined him in PDP as the new chairman of the party in Edo State. From the looks of things, the governor is gaining the upper hand because key leaders of the PDP in Edo, such as Chief Tom Ikimi, Mike Ogiadome, and Charles Idahosa, are on the same page with him, our sources said. Efforts to confirm the development from Governor Baseki proved abortive as our correspondent gathered that he's yet to appoint a media aide since his re-election. Also, a message sent to him was not replied as at the time of going to press. However, speaking with our correspondent, Chief Charles Idahosa, who confirmed that PDP faction loyal to Governor Baseki has written to the national body of 
the PDP to dissolve the current ESCO and conduct a fresh election in order to allow for harmonization of the various factions. He said that Zig Bemi and other members of the ESCO are free to contest again if they so desire. Giving reasons for their decision, Idaosa said all the APC members who joined the PDP with Governor Obaseki including himself were shut out by the PDP members. He said, since we joined the PDP, we have been having problems. All the people that came from that came with us from APC are not holding any position. They said they are already constituted their ESCO. But what about our people that came? In other words, I, Charles Idaosa, cannot produce a councillor in my ward. The governor from Ward 4 in Oriado cannot produce a councillor because the delegates that will choose councillorship candidates are all in PDP. No person that came with Obaseki from APC to PDP can have any political ambition to be anything. That is why we are saying let's harmonize. Funny enough, Astins has a precedent. Obaseki is not the first governor to leave APC for PDP. When Amin Utambua left APC for PDP in Sokoto, they said you are the governor. You are bringing us power. The PDP gave him 60-40 sharing formula. That is 60% of the executives from the ward and they will take 40%. The same thing happened when Samuel Autumn left APC for PDP in Benway. But in the case of Edo, they are just greedy. They did not come with a single House of Assembly member out of the 18 local governments in the state. They did not come with a single chairman. Out of the 192 ward, they did not have a single councillor. And these were the issues I raised at that meeting. All eyes are currently on the Secondus-led National Working Committee and how the current impasses in Edo State PDP will be resolved. However, the party members fear the APC may be the greatest beneficiary if the matter is not amicably resolved. So in the midst of um, this um, Edo PDP crisis, Obaseki has stated his position and tried to explain himself where he's coming from and um, what his intentions are that um, he doesn't have any hidden agenda is to harmonize the party and we can see those that are in support of him. However, um, the, uh, both sides have written to the, um, to the national chairman Uche Secondus. Obaseki wrote to Uche Secondus um, that um, the PDP executive should be dissolved and um, the Edo uh, um, leadership who are against Obaseki's move, they've also written to um, the PDP national chairman that um, um, the deputy governor should be dropped. Everyone is watching what will Uche Secondus do? How will he resolve this PDP crisis? Will he be able to wade in and um, calm this waging storm? Well, we'll see how all of this goes. Guys, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.